What is up, fam? It's your boy, Mike Sutter Bures here for another segment of our beloved series, of our favorite series, Anna Extended Edition on the PlayStation 3. Um, we're going to get back into it. I'm thinking we're at the final, we're at the final leg. This might not even be a full hour video, um, but it is about to get wild. So, oh shit, uh, music recommendation of this segment, of this session, is gonna be, um, oh shit, I've been six hours in this fucking game, that's bullshit, man, how long to beat to this is like a four hour, like four and a half hour game, I'm really fucking off, I fucked off a lot in the beginning, I think, I'm really, I'm kicking ass now with this walkthrough though, um, but, uh, song, song of the day is, uh, Cold by Crossfade. I don't know if any of y'all know that song. It was like constantly on the radio for for the point that it came out or whatever. And even like to this day, afterwards in my hometown, we have like a uh, hard rock radio station that me and my friends always listen to, and uh, they they uh, they regularly spin it. But uh, check out "Cold" by Crossfade. It's a it's a classic hit. I really dig it. I was just listening to it before this. And, um, let's get into it. I'm munching on some popping corn right now. Some, uh, what the fuck is this? Some pop secret popcorn. And I've got about a fucking two inches of Pepsi left in my, uh, mug. What the fuck am I doing? Oh, yeah, I just did all that wacky shit. Alright, gang. Let's get right back into this shit. It's gonna get fucking crazy in this bitch, because we're wrapping it up. Um, should I do a summary of the story so far, since this is probably the final part? Well, <laughs> um, so what we're working with here, this, this game is Anna, and we're a dude, assumedly, we're a person. And, uh, and, uh, feel free to get your own popcorn, by the way, this is the grand finale. I assume. If, 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 this, if this isn't, I'm gonna be like, what the fuck, dude? I'm just gonna. I'm committing to playing till the very end. I got at least like two hours to come down by right now. Maybe an hour and a half, actually. I don't know. Um, but, anyways, so we're this dude, and we don't remember shit about our past. We're just at this fucking house in the woods. I don't even know what this town is. What is this background image right now? What the fuck is this? <laughs> I never really thought about it, but what the hell is this? There's like many houses and shit here. Um, anyways, um, <clears throat> we don't remember shit, we just know the name Anna, and, uh, and how we just can't forget her, in essence, but we don't really remember her, I guess. So we're just trying to figure out who's Anna, and we think the mysteries to our memory are, are the, the mysteries, the solutions to the mystery of our memory, I don't know, um, the answers that we're looking for. Um, are in this sawmill, I guess is what it is. This mill. The slash house. And, um, so we've been fucking around in this house. Creating uncomprehensible crafting solutions to problems. And, um... Throughout the, our time here, some supernatural, freaky, weird shit has been going on. And we've been reading these books that we're finding about, like, all this fucking old spiritual cult shit. Some witch burnings been going on. Some savant uh, goddesses or whatever the fuck. And, uh, just some crazy shit. But we kind of figured out... That apparently, there was a woman, apparently everybody in this cult calls like the goddess, like they're, if they had to pick a name for it, it's Anna. Um, or this spirit or something. And there is, there's a story depicted on these pictures of a woman that was trying to help a guy, that helped a guy using natural herbs and shit, very organic treatment, and, uh, and then all the villagers were like, this is a witch, and they burn her at the stake. And I think she was called Anna. I think that's Anna as well. Um, and then there's another story 
about some dude that found some chick in the woods. Um, and that's our dude who lives in this house or whatever, who lived in the house. Um, we've been in his room. Where we saw messages saying that we're not so different, you and I. <laughs> um, us and this dude. Um, who very well may be us in a past life or something. But there's this dude that saw this chick in the woods. And she was, she was fine, am I right? So he... So he was trying to get with that, you know what I'm saying? He was trying to look up her, some, her info, and, um, he was checking ye old social medias, aka the, the, the cult books, and, uh, he found out she was, like, a spirit or some shit, so he's trying to do all this stuff to, like, win over this spirit or whatever, and his brother is like, yo, you're being crazy, so then he kills his brother, naturally. This guy's trying to cock block me? I don't think so, nah. Uh, so he kills him, and, uh, and I don't know what happened after that. There's another story about some dude and his girlfriend are, are off canoodling in the woods, you know, getting down like children do in the day. And she keeps being like, eh, I don't want to go into the woods that deep. But then he's like, but yo, there's these people right here. They're going to see us. We got to go back. We got to go deeper. And they're doing that until there's, like, some light in the woods that she's freaked out about. And she doesn't want it to rain. And he's like, it's not going to rain. And she's like, I don't want it to snow. And he's like, it's not going to snow. And it starts snowing, right, naturally. Because <laughs> he's a dude and he's fucking wrong. He's just trying, he's just lying. to try to get some of that. Some smooches in the, in the woods. In the woods. In the woodlands. And, uh... But then they get so deep and so close to this light that he just becomes obsessed with this light and just starts going towards it, despite this fucking snowstorm. They're not going to be able to get home. So then she's all like, come on, let's go. And then he fucking is like, I'm sick of your shit. He sends her away first, and then she comes back because she's lost. She's like, I don't, I, please, I don't want to leave you. Let's go. And then he fucking smashes her face with a rock. And, uh, and he goes to live with the light in the woods or whatever, I don't know. And there's just a lot of weird shit. And there's also the story of this, like, dude, this warrior, and, like, a moving lion head in this door, or some shit. I don't remember that very well. And I, if you guys remember it better than me, you can probably tell that I don't remember any of this shit very well. Uh, but that's a brief, probably wrong summary. But now we're in this attic, and, uh, of this house, and we are... On the second to last segment of this walkthrough that I'm using from Game Facts, uh, written by I believe the name is Daniel Kingsman or Kingsland. <laughs> Kingsman isn't that like a movie series or something? I think they're having a new one coming out soon. Um, pretty dope. Uh, yeah, Daniel Kingsland. This was made on April fourth, twenty seventeen. So not even that old. That's pretty sweet. This is a really good walkthrough, by the way. Um. It's got a lot of shit going on. Um, but we're on the second to last segment of this walkthrough, which is called Entering the Temple. And we are almost done with this section, actually. Um, we did all this shit. We got the uh, cinders. Uh, next, we got to return to the fireplace in the living quarters. So we're going back to the living quarters, which is where? I don't even remember where it is, actually. It's through the attic. Is it back here? Yeah. Okay. Dope. I was scared. Of, I'm like already scared of this game. I'm like, I don't want any like shit to happen. Like, I don't want any of these. Ever since I found out the events are random, I'm like trying to pause and like have as minimal amount of like downtime in this game as possible because <laughs> I don't want to get spooked. But, um, yeah, we got, we got a, we got two little fuck. Jesus Christ. Um, uh, where's the, uh, chick with the hair? Great, she's right there. Chick with the hair, she's right there. I don't even care. I walk right past. Uh, run. Hello, ma'am. Hello, my bride. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay. Yo, who busted up this- Oh, that's not a table. That's the, yeah, that's the hatch. Okay. Hold on a second. I just want to keep talking. I don't know. I want to keep talking. <laughs> that's what I'm here to do. I'm very, I guess, hype for this recording session. 
I've been wanting to like do some recording all day today, but I've just been fucking off. And now I'm finally in it. I'm like, yeah. Um. So, let me just see what I have to do first. Enjoy this beautiful music for a second, which is kind of loud. It's definitely showing up in my recording, in my mic audio. Turn my TV down a little bit. Um. <laughs> Okay, oh yeah, let me do the, uh, whatever's first, just in case, because, uh, again, I'll remind you all that we're trying to get the whole truth ending, which means we need to, uh, have all of the intuitions when we beat the game. And, uh, I did a little bit of that, I think I did all, I think I caught up before the end of the last episode, at the end. Let me just double check, though. I got, I removed it. Next up is something in a whole different place so okay I'm good for now until I get to an altar is the next intuition I need to examine something at the altar whatever that is wherever that is um, <clears throat> so we'll see when we get there but right now here's what I gotta do <clears throat> okay let's bust it up fam Give me that. And. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Something, something, something. Give me that. Yeah, you guys know that song. <laughs> Whatever, fuck off. Um. What is that song? Give me that. Give me that. He's like a duffel bag full of something. Give me that. I don't remember. Um. Where the semi at? I remember that. Um, alright, so check it out, boys and girls. We're, God damn, that still freaks me out. Bop! You feel me? The ring is mounting! Fused gold is adapting with the incision on the tablet. On the tablet. Great! And, uh, then don't mind me, I'm just gonna use this chimney shovel. There it is. There she goes, and we got that on the ground there. Cannot pick it up, it's too hot. Ah, damn. <laughs> I need to cool it down. So guess what I got, my boy? Yeah! From the very beginning, we got this full canteen. Does this guy have, I imagine he's just got like a headlamp on <laughs> the whole time, a light around his head. <laughs> oh, shit, there was a use for that canteen. Nice. We're still waiting. There it is, boy! Nice, it's in the shape from the book. You know what I'm talking about, fam. There it is. Um, and, uh, do 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 do. Yeah, that's it. Um, so now we're going to do some wild shit. I read this paragraph. This is the, this is the last, like, paragraph, the last, uh, thing to do for this segment, and it is fucking wild, y'all. I hope it will be. I hope it won't be disappointing. Um,. Let me just double check it all first so I can just do it all in one go and you guys can be like, what's happening? I don't know. Alright, fam. Nothing scary, right? God damn. Oh. Don't mind me, anybody? Don't mind me. I hate the move from this door to the to the downstairs using the attic because you gotta like go around everything and it's fucking spooky. Because that's a lot of downtime that shit could go wrong and the attic is where I had my floating... Uh, mask mishap. So I'm just, I just assume everything in this bitch is, is scurry. Scurry as hell. Let's just get on our groove. There it is, son. What you know about it? Now here's all these hands sticking up. I cannot forget that shit. It's been a couple days. It's been almost a week. Since I last played this. Since I recorded... In the last session. Dude, hear all these creaks and shit? Jesus Christ. Alright, my boys and girls. This is gonna get crazy. I'm nervous. I'm really nervous about this shit. I'm like, I cannot sit still <laughs> on my couch right now. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I'm like getting a little bit jacked right now. I'm fucking... I'm jumping and jiving, my boys. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm all on that kick. I've been listening to, um, 
the H3 podcast. If you don't know, um, Ethan and Ela H3 H3 Productions. Um, they're entertaining, and um, I've been watching, I've been listening to their podcast like all week. Hey, the hair thing isn't in here. Great. That tones down the creepiness a little bit. Um, but anyways, yeah, Ethan always says, like, you yeah, boy, and shit like that, so now I'm just like, it's just in my brain. Huh! You feel it? Tachyon. Oh my god, it's goddamn dark. Dark as fuck. What do I do? I'm uncomfortable as shit. Oh, fuck. Dude, I can't see dick. Wait a second. Let me read this. <laughs> Let me read this again. Oh, okay. So this thing doesn't even have anything to do with this shit. It's just fucking creepy. Oh, shit. There it is, bitch. Okay. So this is what we're talking about. A stone head. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, homies. Bop. Ooh, dang. This music sounds really nice. It sounds like Journey. You hear it? You know what I'm saying? Like when you're flying around in Journey at that like end segment. If you guys haven't seen the game Journey, um, I I did a complete playthrough of it with my with my good friend Vivid P, who's in a lot of stuff on the channel. Um, Journey is is a is a very kind of like artsy game. I wouldn't call it artsy per se, but it's like an experience game. It's not like a challenging game. It's just like a really like dope experience. It's like a fun, nice, like calming ride, and it's just really cool. Um, but we did one video for that. That's actually going to go up this weekend. It's not even uploaded yet on my channel at the point of this recording, but it's going up this weekend <laughs> coincidentally. But um, it's it's a full two hour. It's just a single one-shot, two-hour-long video of us playing through the whole game, and and the way Journey is made, it um, pairs you up with a random person online, and you don't have any way of communicating with them. Typically, is the idea, other than little chirp noise you can make with your character, but the but we got into a game together. Um, we managed to do that, um, which at this point probably isn't that hard because it's a pretty old game. But, um, we completely changed the dynamic of the game by being able to talk to each other and work together and kind of, like, engage in the game as, like, a two-player concept. <laughs> um, I think more so than what they intended, but it was a lot of fun that way, and so it's a really good video. I recommend you, you get some nice popcorn, and you sit down and watch that whole two-hour experience. If you haven't seen anyone else play the game Journey, it's, it's really good. But anyways, back to the spooky shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fucking back to this spooky shit. Alright, gang. Let's get it, let's get it fired up. Jesus Christ. Ooh! Ooh, what the fuck? Can I take this mask off? God damn. Okay. Shit. Where is the, uh... Can I take this off now? Whoa, isn't that wild? Oh my god, that's cool as fuck. Damn. What was that dude about? It didn't even say that in the fucking... Oh, look, a red candle right here, too. They didn't even mention that in the fucking walkthrough. I was like, oh my god! There's a fucking dude screaming! Dude. Temple door. Yo, this is what's up. 20 minutes into this video, and now we're going into a, what I think is the final segment. I'm not sure. It's the final segment in the walkthrough, but I don't know if this is where it all ends in the temple. I'm not sure. I didn't read ahead in the walkthrough, like I said. I just know that what I just did was um, the end of part 7 of this walkthrough. And next one is uh, part 8, titled Finding Anna, and it is the last part. I don't know if we come back, though, or what. Um, yeah, but goddamn. Oh, cool. 
Okay. There's also an extra ending that I want to get during this with a little bit of save hacks. Um, yeah, let's save right now, though. How about that shit? Oh, I can't save? You joking? I really can't. Is something happening? I'll just go. I can't leave now. Something is going to happen. Fuck off. Shut up. What is going to happen? Fuck you. What the fuck? Oh shit! Shit, shit, shit. I wanna get away. What do I do? Wait, well, actually, in the, uh, in the walkthrough, I don't know, I didn't read ahead. Oh, shit. Look at this. I'll read this. Um, flames will erupt from the wall and a door will appear. That's what it told me. Uh, you have discovered the entrance to the temple. Hey! And then section eight starts off with, once inside the temple. What the fuck? Oh, remove the face of truth for better visibility. So I needed to keep that on. My bad. I guess. I'm assuming. What the fuck, though? It said something's gonna happen, though. <laughs> that fucking scared me. Because then that fucking thing was right there, dude. You can't do that to me. Oh, my God. Is it still there? I can't even tell. Oh, shit. Is that it? Oh, no, I can save. Christ. I was like, what the fuck? I needed to hear a little bit more screaming. I wasn't, I wasn't scared enough yet. I gotta, I gotta get a little bit more scared. Shit. <laughs> okay. Man, they need, I don't understand why there are limits on saves in games. Fuck you. Let me just do what I want. You got a problem with me saving every 10 minutes, boy? Bro? Come on, man. Uh, yeah, I'll overwrite that save. Fuck, dude. Fuck off. And it's another workshop save. That's kind of cool. I wonder if the picture's going to be different or not. Now all this shit went down. Fuck, dude. They just fucked up. Uh. Okay. Nice. We're at 62% complete. A lot's going to go down. Can I go in the door now? My boy. There it is. Okay. Shit. God damn. <laughs> okay. So we'll get in here and we'll remove the mask. Fuck, I'm nervous, dude. A temple. Jesus Christ. Underneath this, like, shitty shack house. Oh my god, I'm nervous, dude. I'm, like, looking over my shoulder. Oh my god. I'm scared to see what it looks like when I fucking take this shit off. Fuck, dude. Whoa, what the shit? That's cool. But also goddamn scary. To the workshop is just a fucking door and there's just tree town. Whoa, that's cool and scary at the same time. Is this all from the one tree? Dude, oh, fuck. I don't know what to think of this. There's a homeless mannequin right there sleeping on the bench in the park. Fuck, dude. Alright, hold on a second. I want to check out the walkthrough. Listen to this music. Jesus Christ. I have no fucking idea how I would come up with any of this shit if I was not using a walkthrough. Oh my god. Dude, this is crazy. Oh, fuck, dude. This game is kind of cool, man. If I just knew how to do it all. With the walkthrough, it's really cool. Okay. Ooh. Fuck, dude. My window's, like, fucking creaked. It's a pretty goddamn nice day out. It's very blue sky. Um. Okay. I wish I could just have this read to me while I do it. Because <laughs> I gotta, like, read it and then, like, try to remember, like, a whole, like, two paragraphs of shit. Fuck it. Whatever. I'll just fuck off. Hi, stuff. Pretty cool. Uh, 
Uh, the temple of Scarab, I believe she connected Anna in some way. Oh, <gasps> shit, no. Uh, what do I do here? All right, I see, like, that's already, I just forgot <laughs> what I just read. Nah. Uh -huh. Hey, gang, check this out. We get to read a book. Oh, there it is. Dope. I like reading. And it's called Legends. Let's get into it, fellas. Fellas and females. <laughs> I don't know. Elders say that the stranger had gone to the river seeking inspiration for the statue that he had been entrusted to do. What? Oh, to, like, make? By the lords of the valley as gift for the church. Uh, so he went to a river to get inspiration for this statue he's making. Um... As a gift for the church, a penitent Mary Magdalene. Uh, the fishwife saw him perched upon a boulder besides them, drawing and sketching feverishly. He went on until he was tired and then walked towards the woods. A hundred spaces. He walked for a long time whilst the fear grew inside him of not being able to... Uh, to be defeated by the white marble slab challenging him in his wood shop. Hmm. Okay. As he was thus consumed, he caught with the corner of his eye a flash of light. He turned and saw a young maiden running away amidst the trees. She was so graceful and nimble that he could not reach her. <laughs> He's trying to reach her with his hand? Uh, so... Uh, but he followed her until he lost her in the vicinities of the sawmill. Shit. There, he told the woodcutters of his fleeting meeting but they were unable to tell him who the young maiden he described was. They were struck, however, by his convulsive excitement, and one of them assisted on taking him home, telling the others, I have a niggling. What the fuck is that word? Am I a racist now for saying that? <laughs> what? I've never heard that word, a niggling. Okay, I have a niggling. <laughs> I should start using that in my speech usually. I don't think so. Uh, he has just found the witch Anna. Oh, shit. I have a niggling. He has just found the witch Anna. Very dramatic line thrown off with that goofy word. Uh, afterwards, the woodcutter recounted that as soon as the stranger saw the slab of marble awaiting him in his workshop, he threw himself upon it and shouted, There you are! You are imprisoned here! And he he immediately began to work on it. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, what the fuck? They didn't close the quotes. <laughs> Whoever wrote this book sucks. <laughs> um... The woodcutter left and returned to his abode. Uh, he did not say anything to his wife, but the following morning he met the doctor and advised him to visit the stranger. Why did he have to say something to his wife? <laughs> I guess, I don't know. Um, who he felt had been the victim of sunstroke whilst in the woods. He did not tell him about witches. When the good doctor arrived at the sculptor's house, he found the door open and the young man working on an already well-hewn statue. Well honed. Uh, the young man was covered in perspiration and had a fanatical gaze. The doctor greeted him, but he did not reply. He therefore asked him about the statue he was working on, and he replied that he need to finish it to be able to see her again. Ooh. The doctor did not understand, but he advised him to eat and rest, and the sculptor told him he would after he had finished. The words of the young man struck the good doctor who returned to visit him the same evening. He found him still at work. He managed to make him drink, but only by forcing a flask between his teeth as he worked. What the fuck? Uh, the next day, the doctor returned accompanied by two big men who dragged the sculptor away from the statue and forced him to eat and drink. The third day, the doors and windows were barred. Well, what the fuck? He had time to stop and bar up all the windows so that he wouldn't get bothered anymore? I guess he seemed it was, it was worthwhile. Um, the sound of the chiseled... Of the chisel filled the silence of the night on into the fourth day. Damn. The doctor asked the priest and the local lord to intervene, but nothing could succeed in opening the doors of that house. Damn. Um. Then the sound of the chisel stopped, but not the work. Putting his ear next to the wooden door, the doctor could hear the stranger talking in his language as he smoothed the marble. His tone of voice was gentle, and it sounded as if he were talking to a beloved one. The doctor passed every night to check and left flasks of water near the door. 
When he saw that for the second time they had been left untouched, he called a pair of woodcutters and with them he axed open the door. Unfortunately, when they entered, they found the young man dead of starvation at the statue's feet. The statue depicted a woman in prayer covered only by a linen cloth bound under her bosom with a rope. That's weird. She was beautiful, and the nobleman who had commissioned it was enchanted. <laughs> what the fuck? But because of the tragedy accompanying his origin, he never placed accompanying its origin. He never placed it in the main church. Yeah, that's that's a that's a side church statue right there. That's that's a secondary church statue. Don't put that in your main one. It's it's bad luck. What the fuck? So we just caught a glimpse of this witch, Anna. And, uh... And, uh, just was obsessed. And had to make this fucking statue. So does Anna curse people by, like, the sight of her? Damn. Um... Ew. Does it follow me? Fuck out of town, my boy! Oh my god! <laughs> Run! <laughs> Fuck that, dude. Fuck that. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, you know what I also just put together? This fucking red bullshit on the side is my sanity meter or whatever, but it's the fucking tree that I sprung up through the fucking attic. Totes, dude. That's like the tree of life or whatever the fuck it's called. Um. Anyway. Damn, halfway to an hour already. This was probably gonna take over an hour. Good. Um, anyway, so that was that, this goddamn spooky-ass fucking eyeball following me. Shit. Um, but now we got some more, uh, thingamajigs. Oh, wait, we have another one, too, I think. Let me look, check it out again. Um, <laughs> okay. So, we like this thing, a growl. But it's in these roots. Was it ever filled with some coffee? Maybe with a chocolate cake baked in the valley? What the fuck is our dude on right now? Anyways, so there's some steps here. Check this shit out. Goddamn lever. With that symbol! Hey! Shit! Oh, fuck! Dang! Okay, I get it. Jesus Christ. Sorry. Um, anyways, I hit a lever, and it opened up a fucking hatch right there. Oh, fuck me! Where'd it go? Is that just the wind? Okay! Shit! Jesus! Stop! I'm scared, okay? You get what you want, I'm scared. <laughs> um... I'm gonna put this some bitch on again. Hey, hey, hey! Thank you, tree! Alright, oh goddamn. Alright, I'm getting this off immediately because I'm afraid. Ew, it's got like my eyes and <gasps> all like wide and shit. There we go. Nice. Is that scary fucking thing around? I don't like that it like appears and goes in like a second. Okay, but we did that. Great. What's the. I offer you this leaf. Um. Oh shit, is this like a well that got covered up? No, it's just like an altar. That's cool. So that's that. Um, what now? We got a fucking Grawla. Whatever the hell that is. <laughs> um, okay. Pardon me, everybody. Look at this. A priest letter. I'm gonna go over here. Oh. Gosh, I don't know what the fuck. How many times did I not read this? Oh, I'm the danger. I read that one. For a moment, the mirror showed my reflection, but it couldn't be me. What could it mean? This place is torturing me by raising more and more questions. I must endure. According to one of the texts I've read, members of Anna's cult who were in mourning used to sprinkle ashes on their heads obtained from the combustion of particular elements. Shit. So that's why I put the ash on the head of that fucking wall, the door statue guy. Um... And did I give it the ring? Like, I don't have that anymore? Um, it is said that one must burn the symbols of loss and signs of renovation 
in a container along with some fuel. Isn't that what I fucking did? That's the heart ashes, ain't? Um, anyways. So we got some more intuition, guys. We're gonna do some more learning here. Because learning is fun and knowledge is power. Um, where are we at? Do, 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 do. Um. Okay. Bop. Bop. Ba, na, na. Bop. Anna was here. It seems she went from the cradles to the tomb. Sounds like a fucking Cradle of Filth song. <laughs> Maybe she buried her own children. Did she kill them as well? Where? Why'd she do such a thing? Huh, I don't know. Whoa. So wherever Anna goes, there's these fucking leaves. Ooh, look at that fucking thing. Um, yeah, read legends. We got the sculptor's tale. Um... Oh, read the priest letter. Duh. Didn't do that. Eh. Is it under documents? No, it should just be in here. Oh shit, but it ain't. It's not letter, is it? Would it be under documents? That Why the fuck is letter? Because I could use it as a thing. Um, because I needed to use it. Um, your reverend excellence, I seize the opportunity once again to offer you my gratitude and joy for the assignment which, with immense benevolence, you have assigned to me. That of bringing the good news to these harsh and beautiful mountains. Coming unfortunately to less joyous matters, the intent of my letter is to inform you of strange happenings which have occurred within the walls of the church in my charge. Is this the church he's talking about? Uh, all connected to the presence within... All connected to the presence within one of the lateral altars of an excellently made marble statue depicting St. Mary Magdalene in prayer. Shit, it's the statue. First of all, as soon as I settled in this patriar... Pa it, what the fuck is that? Patrish? Parish? As soon as I settled in this parish, uh, I was informed of the arduous execution of the work which ended with its sculptor's death. I later noticed the strange devotion to the saint by some pa parish youth, youths, all of them males. <laughs> Bruh, yo, that's I'm saying that's a fine ass statue that he made. You know, he made some beautiful artwork <laughs> with wearing barely anything on it. Bound with a rope, the end of that. In fact, besides the usual lighting of candles and flower offerings, they placed upon altar gifts worthy of pagan goddess, such as milk, you, you know, uh, honey, and small flatbread with the drawing of an ear of wheat. What's that about? Um, but the legends and the popular naivety, naivete, did not shock me until I assisted in the breakup of an engagement because of the statue. A young shepherd who was going to wed but lacked every sacrament came to me asking which steps he had to take to be able to unite with his promised one. But as soon as he took first glimpse of the statue, he was overcome by such amorous devotion towards it that he stopped visiting his promised bride, Jesus. Uh, the young man's folly brought to fiery fights with his promised one at the end of mass one day when he tried to forcefully take back his engagement gift, a bonnet embroidered in gold filigree, as is usually worn in the mountains, in these mountains, in order to give it to the statue. This is when, like, a porn addiction goes way too far and <laughs> starts affecting your, your relationships, you know? Cause that's all they had back then. They had, like, this was like a, a glorified sex doll of the day. And they're all like, dang, that statue, fine. I want to get some alone time with this after church. Um, this disagreeable fight. I don't know how quiet I was. I was talking, like, back here. Can you hear me still? Oh. Um. Um. <laughs> This agreeable, this disagreeable fight took place in the church, 
A few steps removed from the altar of discord. Is that what they're calling the statue now? And it was my task to separate the two and try to cons consoli conciliate them again. Huh. Um, nothing succeeded in softening the boy's heart. He kept insisting that his promised one was not worthy of his heart, which was now fully devoted to the saint, of whom, moreover, he incorrectly named. Um, his passion for the statue grew to the point that he spent his days praying in front of her, so much that I had to shoo him away, and one night I was disturbed from my bed by a strange noise coming from the church where I found him fapping, <laughs> embracing the statue as he wept. I remained hidden in the shadows to observe his movements, and he just drilled a hole in the back of it and went to town. It was really gross and weird. Um, <laughs> I, uh, trying to find the right words to help him return to himself. However, I fell asleep, and when I woke up, when I awoke the next morning, he was no longer near the statue. Some time afterwards, some woodcutters told me they had seen him walk away into the woods. Huh. As of today, it has been two weeks since anyone has heard from him, and, with the cold of these past nights, no one believes he'll be found alive if he has truly been hiding in the woods. It is therefore with my heart full of sorrow that I return, that I turn to your excellence for counsel. Holy shit. This fucking freaky ass statue, dog. Damn. Alright. Well, there's that. Oh fuck, I'm really losing my battery my battery on my phone. <clears throat> um Alright. So now Um <laughs> Okay. So we gotta combine that and that. A letter written by the parish priests report that some youngsters had fallen in love with the statue of Mary. Magdalene, and the legend says that a sculptor died upon completing his work of an icon of Mary Magdalene. What if it's the same statue? Anna statue? Ba -ba -ba. I don't know, man. You tell me. Um. Next up. Uh, what the fuck? Combine sculptor's tail. And statue. Did I steal Anna's statue from the church? This son of a bitch. I've committed a crime. I gotta turn myself in. Oh no. Dude, this guy was so obsessed with this statue, he stole the shit. He was very strong as well, I guess. Um. Oh shit, we're almost out of fucking. Uh. Things. Whatever these are called. Intuitions. Um. Okay. Anna! On that day, in those woods, I met Anna. Why did I forget everything? Is this him? Is he- was this priest's story about him? <laughs> Shit, dude, this is getting fucking nuts. <laughs> I'm saying. Uh, oh my god. Okay, boys and girls. Um, we got three intuitions left in this fucking story. So I don't know how the hell. Fuck, there's sounds outside my apartment that are fucking me up. Um, unlocked automatically. The next one is. And then I have to combine that one with another one. And then I have to combine the one that I create from that with another one. And that'll be all of them. Fuck. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Um. So, yeah. Grola. So, I ever feel some coffee? What the fuck does that mean? This Grola seems familiar. I think I saw it in a Starbucks. They were selling these as, like, a special... <laughs> Fuck, that's cool. Man, I like this one other one. I'm gonna read through all these endings when we're done. Uh, because I, I like this one. I think it's cool. <laughs> um, but I'm not gonna get it. Um. Anyways. Um. Yeah, okay. Shit, I'm like nervous because it's like really wrapping up. Um, and you guys are like, what the fuck? You, like, you guys don't have any kind of like concept of how long we are in this shit. 
<laughs> but I'm like, I can just like see it <laughs> in like a block form, basically like a percent bar. Let's do the next uh, part of this shit. Get ready for some shit. This is really just, I think everything that happens from now on is going to get more and more fucking crazy. <laughs> okay. So that's just what you got to expect. Fuck. Dude, like, I'm, I'm getting a little bit fucking nervous and shit, dude. Oh, what the fuck? That was scary. Fuck off. <gasps> oh, shit. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit! Run! <laughs> fucking run! Oh, my God, dude. I still don't really get what that is. Is that Anna in, like, spirit or something? It had the ring on it. I don't know. Fuck me, dude. Can I get past here, bro? Fuck. Yup, that's right, boys. We back in the attic. My least favorite place. I like that little room downstairs. It was cool. And it was lit nice, I think. It was very small. So I didn't feel like there was something that was gonna happen I didn't know about. Alright. Alright, gang. Get ready for some hot shit. The vest has merged with the mask. Alright, dogs. This is morning dress with men. <laughs> Look at the picture. It's like all flat and shit. It's very flat. Um... They couldn't try to make like the dress a little bit flowy or something. Um. <laughs> All right. Bop. Shit on a dick. Boy, what are you doing, dog? Don't look at me. What is fucking happening? Jesus Christ. Ooh. Dude, I really don't like this. Oh shit. I suddenly imagine rising up and strangling the life from my body. Jesus Christ, dude. This is extremely fucking nuts, dude. I did not expect that shit at all. I'm geeking a- You can tell I'm geeking a little bit. Fuck, dude. Fuck, fuck, fuck. This music is fucking off the chain, too. Can I just say that? It's goddamn freaking me out. Fuck. <laughs> okay, alright. Chill. Chill, chill. I gotta take a drink of this. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, alright, alright. Fuck. We'll do this. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. Okay. Fuck, this is gonna get nuts, and I'm gonna be scared, and this sucks. Wow, we are jumping in percentage, though. Look at this shit. Oh my god. Alright. Alright, shit. Excuse me. Oh my god. Hi. Hi, tree. Oh my god damn. I don't like these noises. Is that a crying baby? Dog, even in supernatural realms, crying babies are fucking the problem. Can you shut that kid up? Uh. Alright. Uh, bop. Fop. Thanks, dog. And... Check it. Yup. It won't let me go to my menu. There we go. Fuck me. Fuck me. This sucks. Put this on my face. You know what it is. Oh my god damn fuck. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is fucking crazy. Makes me uncomfortable. 
What do I do with this seed bag? I don't know if I have a fucking use for that. All right, thanks. Thanks, I wanna take this off now. What if it was like you can't- Ew, look at that shit, the little eyes. Shit on an- Oh, fuck, get away from me. Jesus Christ, you see that fucking thing right behind me, dog? Damn! Oh my god, I'm really getting like, nervous and shit. All right, statue address. Dude, you're freaking me the fuck out. God damn, son. I'm really fucking geeking, man. Shit. And this music's so fucking loud. It's really, they're pumping up the jams in here. You get a hot workout. <laughs> fuck, boom. Oh my god. I'm really on edge, man. Fuck. Alright. And you want something to drink, you thirsty girl? Here you go. I just poured it on it. <laughs> my sweet mother, once upon a time I quenched my thirst from thy breast. Today I shall pay the price for that forgotten memory. Is this what I'm saying? Everybody just chill. Oh my god, everybody just fucking relax. Okay, can we just relax? Oh my fucking god! Shit. Alright, don't freak out, everybody. What the fuck? Hey. What the fuck? I can feel her presence deep in my fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh shit, Jesus Christ! It scared me. What up? Thank you. Get out of here, you never see the light of day again. Well, that's pretty fucking reasonable. Oh, I can save it. It's just fucking, that's just the noise now. That's just the ambient noise. Oh my god. I hate it so it keeps going during the pause screen. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Shit. So now we got Anna's key. Isn't that great? <laughs> Fuck. I thought the fucking thing was gonna be, it says, this is what it says. Um. Oh. Okay, I didn't read it. I didn't read it right. Um, well anyways, I'll read the whole thing. Uh, now you have everything you need to resurrect, quote-unquote, Anna. Shit. Return to the attic. Go to the chair and combine the black dress and mask of the divine. In your inventory. Um, place the newly combined morning dress on the chair. Dude, stop being so fucking loud. Oh my god. Um, it says, uh... Place the newly combined morning dress on the chair and an intuition is unlocked. Interact with the dress to find you need holy sap. Jesus Christ. Um, wow, I'm really almost at the end. Um, uh, find the ritual dagger from early and use the lighter on it. Use the heated dagger on the sapling. Uh, now put on the mask of the assassin and you will see blood pouring out of the top. Collect some of the gorilla, or gr <laughs> collect some in the grala, and then take it to the chair and use it on the dress. The symbol on of the goddess on the wall behind the chair will begin to glow red and the room will tremble. Interact with it, and then turn around. The woman-shaped mannequin will be standing behind you holding out a key. Take Anna's key from its hand. Fuck. Okay, so apparently it says right here, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna exclude some words. But, uh, there's a branching path here for one of the endings, um, that I want to get. Um, there are two ways to access the next area of the game. If you wish to complete the steps for the blank trophy, return to the living quarters. So we're gonna do that. Um... Let me just double check it, though. God damn these noises, dude. <laughs> Fuck! Um... God damn. Um... Oh 
Oh shit, I might have had all the things now. Oh, it's gone? Oh no, it's still there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. No, that's not right. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing with my shit? Um, aha. Surely this monstrous representation of Anna comes from the medieval period. In those times, men considered Anna to be a sort of devilish entity. This fucking mask. <laughs> um. Medieval. Anna's primordial cult has ancient origins. It has spanned time and centuries to reach me here, now. Fuck. And, uh... Fuck, that's it. And then we got the last one, which is this. Thousands of years. Anna's primordial cult has ancient origins. It's fantastic. Yeah. Fucking shit. God damn. Okay. I'm gonna save it again. Oh, I can't save it. Br bruh? Oh my god! Ah! A thing happened! I had a thing happen! Now I'm damaged. I don't know if I want to save that <laughs> now. Now I've been damaged by the by the spirits. <laughs> Fuck. Dude, these shit, dude. God damn. This <laughs> fucked. Uh Alright, let's save it again. Um so now I have all the intuitions. Supposedly. Hopefully. Jesus Christ. Um, I guess it'll tell me at the end if I got the whole truth in or not. I'm not redoing this again though, so hopefully I have all of them. Um and so now I'm just following the walkthrough. I'm at 9% battery on my phone, so let's just keep that in mind. Oh yeah, I'm doing this other ending first. Um, what is this, like, fire sound? What the fuck? I wonder if this time that I've been paused is actually counting as in-game time. I don't know. Um, I'm at 76% because I had a thing happen to me, the stones. Shit, okay, I didn't know that stuff counted. Um, oh shit, that was the baby grave, and those little black hands maybe were baby, baby, baby hands! <laughs> baby hands! Baby legs, you're a good detective, but not good enough because of your baby legs. <laughs> oh no! Um, fuck. Um. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this ending. Alright, I'm gonna try to do this extra ending. Don't fuck with me, spirits. I'm doing some cool shit. Alright, so this is a different fucking- I think maybe I should do this later. You know? You don't think? I should load up and do it again. I think that's not a bad idea. Cause this is kinda like not... Uh, I don't know, canon? <laughs> it, it all is. Oh, shit. Um... Let me just do the regular story. How about that? I'll do that first and then, and then it'll be like a bonus when I do this, uh... The a considerably more spooky ending, I think. Um... Although it'll also be on this on this video. Um but let's see. Okay, let's go back. <laughs> Fuck. Now we're we're doing the main story right now. And at the end, or maybe in a bonus video, we will do the extra ending. Alright. <laughs> God, shut up. Alright, there's supposed to be a, a glowing door in the floor. Everybody do the dinosaur. Uh, <laughs> God, shut up. I'm really fucking geeking right now. Where is there a glowing door in the floor? Fuck off. What are you talking about? Dude, I wanna get like fucking shit happening to me just while I'm walking around looking for this. This, this is what it says. Okay. It says take Anna's key from his hand. And then it has the note about the branching path. And then it says the next paragraph. <clears throat> uh, go to the glowing door in the floor and use Anna's key to unlock it. What? A glowing door in the floor. Where is that? Is it in front of the thing? That's just a trap door. 
That's this. Excuse me, ma'am. I don't know. Shall I use the key on this fucking thing? Excuse me. It should be glowing. This is what I'm saying. Was it mentioned earlier? A glowing door in the floor. Fuck it. I guess I'll just walk around. Glowing door in the floor. Can I walk through that? Oh, fuck off. I can walk through it the whole time. I've been going like all around and shit. Let's go this way. Oh, shit. <laughs> no. There's not a door in the floor with a chair. This is really spooky, but I'm starting to get used to it now. <laughs> I'm like, whatever. Fuck it. I know I'm gonna die or whatever. This is just, like, scary. Let's go to the living quarters. Maybe it's over here. Maybe it's over here. I don't know. I don't know. There's no need to panic. I've been saying that's the beginning of the ship. It's gonna be a long-ass video, dude. I really could have made, like, so many episodes in this series. But I'm like... It's a short game. I'll just do a couple big episodes. Whatever. Hey, is there a glowing floor hole? Excuse me. Pardon me, everyone. I'm looking for a glowing floor door. Is it in here? Oh, shit. There's a glowing door right here. Is this it? This isn't a floor door. No. Excuse me. Is there a glowing floor door? Oh, piss. Oh, damn. It's where the fucking thing was. My boy. Look at that. That's kind of cool. It's shut. Okay. Fuck. Where's the floor door, son? I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. The glowing floor door. Fuck me, dude. Maybe it is downstairs. I don't fucking know. I don't want to read ahead to you guys. Because it's kind of it'll spoil it. I gotta imagine it's in this room because this is where all the goddamn noise is coming from. <laughs> Fucking all this stupid shit. But there's not a glowing floor door. I'm nothing is glowing. That's goddamn glowing like crazy. But that's not the fucking door. There's fucking shoes everywhere. The glowing door in the floor. Haven't you heard? <laughs> You've heard of Elf on the Shelf. Well, now here's door on the floor. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go down here. Fuck me. I don't know. Shit. I'm gonna keep munching this popcorn, though. I like me some popcorn, man. Is there a fucking glowing floor door here, bro? Hello? I'm looking for a Wait, maybe it's in here. Hey, you got a... Is this a floor door? I don't... Red wax. Sample. No. It's a fucking glowing floor door, dog. Hey, I'm trying to find a glowing floor door. Have you seen it? Not a four-wheel drive. A four... floor. Not a four-door car. Floor door. Not Florida. <laughs> Floor door. Fuck, dude. I don't know. Is if This is a fucking dumbass little hatch thing. Hey, bro. Hey, me. I don't know. Fuck off. Where's this dumbass floor door? What the fuck? Oh, yeah. This shit's still fuck. <laughs> I haven't looked at this thing. The seeds grow quickly. Oh, I threw the seeds in the water. What is this red light about? It geeks me. I don't want it to land on me. Oh, there it goes. Wait, does it follow me? I don't know. 
Oh, fuck, those dumbass hands scared me. It wouldn't be in here, would it? Fuck it. Let's go to the workshop. Let's get some work done. I don't know. Five percent battery, boys. And girls and grills. There's not a fucking floor door here. Let's go in the temple. Fuck it. I don't know. I like the temple. You don't like the temple? Fuck you. I wonder if I can do these steps without... Fuck up the story. This is some shit. I'll tell you guys what it is, actually. Um, the, the branching ending that we want to go for is called Path of the Sabbath Maker. Alright. Fuck. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta read. So this is where it really diverges from the story. But there's no fucking- <gasps> Fucking shit on a fucking shit! Oh my goddamn fuck! Fuck! Oh shit! Oh! What the fuck? Whoa! 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 <laughs> I'm traumatized. What the fuck, dog? God damn! <laughs> I was trying to back the fuck out of there, but still see everything. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Oh shit! They got custom freaky shit that goes down in every room. What the fuck, dude? God damn! Oh my god! Fuck you! <laughs> fuck you, boy! Oh shit! Dude, I'm getting to die. My health is probably getting fucking low. I, I, I'm, I think you gotta take a lot of that shit to die, but seriously. Fuck. God damn. My battery's at 4%, guys. I gotta fucking plug this shit in. I'll be right back. Oh my god, this is so stupid, man. I'm uncomfortable and nervous. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, this is on the track of the other ending though, so I'm just doing this now. <laughs> Maybe it'll help me out. I don't know. Fuck, dude. I guess I shouldn't be. Fuck, dude. Jesus Christ, these fucking noises and shit are really spooking my ass. Where is the floor door? Can you just tell me where the floor door is, homie? Fuck. An obscene? Did it say obscene <laughs> woman-shaped mannequin? <laughs> Where's the shit? I'm really getting fucked right now, guys. I'm really getting fucked up. Look, I know the other way is very clear, the other ending. So I'm just kind of tempted to go do that. <laughs> it's really close, too. I'm just going to maybe bang it out <laughs> right now. We'll just see what happens, and then I'll just have to respawn up here in the dumbass attic again. Ugh. Fuck, dude. Oh. Man. Oh. Okay, I was about to grab some more popcorn. But I guess now I won't. Alright, check this shit out, y'all. Check this shit out, fam. Alright. And, uh. Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck, 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 fuck. Wait, what the shit? I don't actually know what the hell's going on. I fucking suck. Oh. Oop. My bad. Like the Sabbath Maker. Make his way alone. Oh shit, did I not read the fucking book? I, I think I read all the books. Okay. 
Hold on. I don't understand, but I'll try it. <laughs> Fuck it. I don't know. I don't know what you want. I don't know what you're talking about. What the fuck thing? You're tripping me out. There is not a door here. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, game? Did I fuck it up? Ah, eh, shit. I think I fucked it up. Alright. Oh, shit! Am I seriously stuck in here? Oh. Removed. Yeah, 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 whatever. Okay. Yeah. I'll just read it for now. Maybe it'll make sense later. It said to use Anna's key to go through the locked door in the corner of the room, but what the fuck? There's no fucking... Locked... Fuck me. I bet I can't save. Fuck! I'm gonna get scared, guys. I'm gonna get scared, and that's just what it is. Let's see. What the shit? There's the fucking lady. Fuck off. I'm scared someone's gonna be behind me. Oh, now that was it. What the fuck was that? That was stupid. Oh my god. Um. Yeah, I don't know what to do right now, guys. I'm actually gonna put you on hold for another second. I'm actually gonna look up a video walkthrough. Because I don't know what the fuck they're talking about by the fucking gold... Uh, or the glowing hole in the floor. So what the fuck? The door in the floor. What the fuck? Yo! Okay, guys, this is dumb! What the shit? The door's supposed to fucking be there! But it's not! What the fuck? I don't know what I did wrong! <laughs> fuck. What the shit? Do I need a mask on? Let's close this shit and just see what the fuck with the masks on. What the fuck, dude? I'm watching a playthrough. I'm just watching. It's a PC version and it looked a little bit different. But the fuck? It shouldn't be this different. It said the hole in the floor. What the fuck is that? I don't know, man. Let's try on these masks and just see what happens. No. Maybe the truth one kind of sounds right to me. Oh, god damn. No. What the fuck, dude? Seriously. The dude just did the fucking spirit thing. Um downstairs and uh or in the attic that I did and then fucking walked right over here and the fucking closed the door and there was this fucking door right here in the corner but there's not now so I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna watch a, a specifically a PlayStation 3 walkthrough and see what's up oh Markiplier played it, played it too dude what the fuck like, the whole place is different. This is bullshit. Oh, oops. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, what the fuck? I don't want to have to redo shit. But in the fucking, um... In the attic, shit's, like, going off. In both... I watched, I've looked at two different Let's Plays now. And the fucking attic is, like, lit up, and there's, like, spikes and shit coming out of the ground everywhere. I, there's not that here. What the fuck? I don't know what the fuck the deal is with that. There's, like, nothing. But apparently, there's, like, a symbol on the fucking wall there's supposed to be right here. And there's not. So I don't know what the fuck is up with that. To be honest, should I restart? This is my only beef. I fucking didn't 
save for like a little while. You know? I'll probably be able to do that fast. That's right when I went to the thing. But still, shit, dude. Let me double check this walkthrough again and see if the fire and shit started happening after the ritual. It was like that before even the fucking they did the ritual in the attic. It was all fiery and shit. Son of a bitch. Nobody, at least I have a market. <laughs> fucking nobody's played this on the PS3 on YouTube, it looks like. What the fuck? Alright, guys. This is stupid. I'm gonna try to fucking reload in the workshop and just do that shit. Fuck, man. No, man, I don't want to go through all this trouble again, though. Oh, fuck off. Okay, in the walkthrough itself, it answered my question. Thank you. Jesus. Okay, so fuck me. Um, so apparently the door on the floor is not literally a door on the floor. It's the door in the room that we're talking about um, that I was looking at. And apparently I need to have the fade to black event happen in the attic which will consist of the room fading to black and a message popping up that says like I can see myself or something or I can feel myself I don't know exactly but if I hang out around this this wonderful lady dang look at them boobs am I right um if I hang out with the lady then shit is more likely to happen so I'm just gonna hang out here for a second and hope I don't die, because I don't know my health. It's the same. We're just gonna wait for it to fade to black. Fuck. I didn't know, dude. Wow, knock my pillows. I'm not gonna be looking when it happens, too. Watch this shit. I'm getting my phone situated. Watch now, it won't give me anything. But yeah, that unlocks the, uh, I don't like you looking at me, buddy. Um, but having the fade to black event happen up here. Um, first of all, it's what made my flashlight turn red downstairs or something like that. And up here, apparently, it'll make it a different color, which I won't spoil for you. But I'm just gonna sit here and munch popcorn for a minute until it happens, I guess. I'm just afraid about a hundred other things are gonna happen before then, and I'll just die. Um, hopefully not. But we'll see. We gotta chill here in these dumbass noises. We could have had this happen like a long time ago. But of course it didn't happen yet, because I'm sneaking around trying to avoid these things. Now I'm being punished for it. <laughs> should I keep talking, or should I just cut it? <laughs> For your convenience, because this video is going to be goddamn long if I don't cut it. I'm just nomming some popcorn. I have a nice little bowl that Chelsea got two bowls. They're like ceramic. And they are from, uh, I think, Anthropo yeah, Anthropology, because she likes shopping at those places. And, um, but they're pretty dope for popcorn. Like, they're, like, bigger than the average bowl. Like, you know, like an ice cream bowl or whatever. And we're just waiting. Should I walk around? I should just stay in this hallway. It's a nice little track. <laughs> I can do my sprints. I can work on my Olympic time. Um, I noticed that um, through all of my sessions of this game, I start to get more comfortable. Like, in the beginning, I'm a lot more nervous. And uh, towards the end of every session, I start to get more comfortable with the... Uh, the game. Jesus Christ, this is awful. Really is pretty shitty. I just gotta keep doing this till it fades to black. Are you, this is like a fucking shitty shit. And they make me have to wait until a random event happens so that I can continue. But it's gonna be dope once it happens. It'll be like, um, everything's gonna be all crazy around here and shit. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be a cool time. Hopefully, I don't know. Look at this uh, light. It's got like a ring around it. I wonder if that means anything or it's just like them trying to simulate, you know how like flashlights kind of have that. I wonder if I could just sit here and just chill. Just sit here and chill. I had the stone thing happen, but maybe that's why it's like you need to take a break from this. We don't want to fucking fuck you up. <laughs> I don't know. Hang out till it fades to black, dude. This is dumb. 
fuck this shit. <laughs> Man. Only got so much patience. Let's just uh, creep around. Fuck it, I don't know. Oh, shit, no. <laughs> fuck. That'd have been close. I would have to, like, fucking go back in time. What the fuck? Can I get a, a dark fog or what, y'all? I'm just trying to not know what's happening for a second. I'm just gonna keep walking around. Tell you some more fucking noise. Look at that ship. There's the hatch. Should I close it? <laughs> Fuck that hatch. Now I can walk a little over it. I don't know, dude. I'm just wandering around. Like, now I'm kind of like welcoming that fucking hair chick. What up, fam? What you doing? What's your problem, bro? Look, some cinders. I already got some. I got some cinders. Some shit, and there's a bed. A bed made of wood. Doesn't feel as old as the rest of the house. Why is it like purple back here in the corner? Isn't that weird? It might be from the other room. <laughs> yeah, it just goes through it. That's kind of funny. It's kind of weird. Yo, everybody, what is going on? Fuck. God damn, this shit freaks me out. Walk around again. Is it a baby? Oh, that's it. What the fuck is that? Like, I want to find out what's doing that. Like, I just imagine it's a baby. <laughs> I feel like all the supernatural shit's happened to me in here. <laughs> This is the place to go. This is the room. I just hope the game isn't, like, glitched or something. You know? I'm nervous about that. I'll continue to fucking sit here. This is shitty. Fuck me! Look at this! Look at this shit! Oh, damn, look on the bed! Holy fuck! I'm coming in! Ah, what the fuck? <laughs> that was dumb. Damn, what the shit? Is that why this one's freaking out? What the fuck? I finally saw what it was! Alright! It's been almost a half an hour. It's been over a half an hour because I sat around beforehand as well. I'm about ready to fucking load an old save just to uh, see if that'll help. I just don't want to lose this progress also. I just don't know. Ah... I just don't know what to fucking expect right now. Like, I just want this shit to happen. And it won't. Get the fuck out of my way. And this sucks. It really, like, it, it's relying on this random event to happen. Am I losing my sanity at all, either? Does it need to happen before a certain thing? Like, did I fuck myself? Oh shit, it says right here, note, if you spend time in close proximity with a woman-shaped mannequin, you may incur damage to your sanity level. I might get the fucking bonus ending where you just die. <laughs> look at this shit. Okay, guys, this is weird. See, look. This is a paragraph from the sixth section um, that we already went through um, about when we first went to the attic. It says, um, there are two... No, no. As you move around the attic... No. Okay. Um, when we take the two masks off the wall, um, we take the book, and, uh, and we'll, yeah, from the bookcase near the mirror. And then it says this. Now you need to wait for a second event to trigger. 
After you have heard Anna tell you she cannot save you anymore, walk around until the fade to black upstairs event occurs. That's what we've been waiting for. Okay. Um, a good way to trigger this event is to either see one of the other two supernatural elements that can occur in the attic, pile of rocks, or floating mass, which now we've, now we've had both of them happen, uh, or to have your sanity drained by the woman-shaped mannequin. Once this event has triggered, the appearance of the second floor changes. You can now proceed through the door near the bookcase, which leads to the living quarters. Now, I don't remember exactly if it wouldn't let me proceed through the door until that event happened, until Fade to Black happened. I don't remember if it even happened, to be honest. Um, maybe it already happened and this door thing's just a fucking glitch. But that means it would have happened. I would have waited until an event happened. I remember I had the floating mask thing happen, and I think that's when I went in the door, after the floating mask. I don't exactly know. It's just frustrating because I don't know, but that's pretty far back that I would have to redo shit. Let's go over here and see if we can get the a lady to appear in the natural position. Maybe this ring-holding mannequin woman doesn't drain my sanity. Because my sanity, I still don't understand this fucking tree meter thing in the menu here. Um, but it's, it doesn't seem to be getting, it doesn't seem to be changing at all. And I almost bet if I saved it, I would still be at 100% health. Um, or sanity. So what we're gonna do is walk around until, uh, the woman appears somewhere around here. And then we're just gonna chill with her. We're gonna hang out and spend some quality time with, with my girl. You think I should just walk around with the masks on? We can learn some shit? Ah, oh, fuck. What the hell? I don't know. Look at this chair. There's a fine chair. How you doing, mannequin? Where's your girl at? Oh, there she is. What up, home girl? What up, girl? Oh shit, that's what it is. Hit me. It hit me. Now, what effect did it have on the tree? I can see myself! Dog, that's what I'm talking about. We did it! Oh shit, god damn, I got a text message when that happened. Fuck that. Alright, fam. Now we got a blue light! I just had to find my girl in a natural setting, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what's up. And let's see. Let's see. Yes. Goddamn right. Okay, boys and girls. We <laughs> fucked off for so long. Dude, that was so dumb. But we did it. And I'm actually going to make a new save. For no reason, I guess. But in case I want to go back and, like, just not have that much time tacked on. Seven hours already. Now it's going to be, like, probably like seven and a half at least. How long did I fuck off from the last time I saved until now? Just waiting for that event to trigger. How long? God damn. Over an hour. An hour and a half almost. I fucked off waiting for that shit to happen. <laughs> and me in the editing room is probably really fucking annoyed too. Having to skim through until some shit happened. Oh shit. Oh, no way. Cool. I just got some good news. It was scary getting a text, but, yo, I got a fucking uh, text from my guy. Sweet. Oh, that's cool. Uh, there's somebody I'm doing freelance work for that had not talked to me in, like, a long time, and, like, I still owed them work or whatever, but my computer's been broken, so I haven't been able to work on their jobs anyway. <laughs> so I was like, okay, that's cool, actually. But now he just texted me, and he's like, hey, I'll be in town on Friday. Dude, my man. Okay. Right on. <laughs> cool. Um, and that's completely irrelevant, though. But that's funny. I was just talking about him to uh, my girlfriend Chelsea the other night. I was like, "Man, he has not texted me, and he still has some work to get done." I don't know what he. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> I don't know what's up. But until I get my computer fixed, I'm just gonna let it go because <laughs> it doesn't. I can't work on this shit anyway. 
So I'll just let it go, and then I'll and then I'll text him after I get my computer fixed. I hope to get my computer fixed soon. Now that he says I'll be in town on Friday, maybe I should get my computer fixed like right away in case he wants to work on some shit. I hope not. But um, yeah. Anyways, <clears throat> let me cough a little bit. Um. So anyways, yeah, we got the we got the fucking goddamn thing after eight hours of playing this game. So uh, we did it. Um. So now. Simple goddess. Got the anarchy. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so I did. Oh, look, and this picture's all red and shit now. Dude, yeah, it does change. Look at that. We're at 93 health now. Not good, but we're totally good. I got 1% of completion bonus <laughs> because of that. What the fuck? Um, I also had the rock thing happen, I think. Um, anyways, let's see, um, yeah, that's good though. I only have like 40 minutes now until Chelsea's ready. So now is when we can decide what ending we want to get, and we are not going to do the bonus, we're not going to do the Sabbath Maker ending, we'll do that at the very end, we'll come back, we'll load back on this one and do it, um, but for now we're going to do... This ending. Forgive me. I couldn't save you. Forgive me. I couldn't save you. His way through. Follow his lead. Oh shit, it just took me. It just took me. <laughs> this part's fucked, guys. <laughs> Get ready for some spooks. I don't even know what to expect exactly. I expect to piss myself, but, you know. Fuck, dude. It's taking a long time to load. It is. This is kind of a weirdly long time to load. I've never been in this environment, though, so maybe that's part of it. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Fuck, dude. I do have to pee, actually, which is not good. I do have to pee. Shit. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Whoa. Look at this fucking place. Look at that goddamn tree. Your devout servant has gained access to thy womb again, my beloved. Ah, oh, fuck. I didn't get to read it. What the fuck? Should I be scared of these guys? I've been taught not to be- Oh, Hey! Mask of the Goddess. Is that what the other mask was called? I don't remember. Button. Button! Oh, it's this guy, too! Does that one also have the mask? Oh, yeah, it does. They all have the masks. And here's the detached door. What the fuck? This was in that dude's room? And these dudes are, like, uh... Chillin'. I like this one. He looks like a knight. Oh, and look at the picture on the wall. Do I need to get them to be like that? Oh, this has them the way they are now. Uh, both knees kneeling and then bowing completely. And over here is where they want it to be. This one's got, like, the eye above it. So we need them all bowing down. Okay. That's cool. Dude, fuck this. This is, like, way weird. <laughs> um, but it actually tells me <laughs> in the walkthrough. So I gotta fuck off. Okay. Let's hit this button and see what happens. Oh, Jesus Christ. It doesn't even, like, fuck off. Oh, okay, so now this one's down. So they do different shit. It's like a serious puzzle right here. Let's try this. This is creepy, dude. Fuck off. Got him. Snap. <laughs> it was her. It was the mask calling me. The search for the truth is worth nothing if I can't be near you, Anna. What? I have to wear this mask? Fuck you! 
This is like red as fuck. That's scary. Uh, what was that text? Is that okay? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I'm playing a game. I told her I'm in the middle of recording and she's like texting me, Chelsea. <laughs> um, you will hear a loud cracking sound as the mask of the goddess falls off the head of the center mannequin. Take it and place it on the celebrant. A light... Okay. Um, yeah, but this whole path we're taking is the, is the serious, the whole truth path. We are separating the, the men from the boys or whatever. Uh, we are not doing... <laughs> I'm gonna wear it. We are certainly not doing that. Look at this darkness. Can I walk down there? Can I just jump? No, I can't. Okay, I was kind of scared that it was gonna do that. It looks as if he's performing some kind of ritual. Hey, homie. You know what would look, what would look really good on you? This dog. Ha ha ha. You wear it, bitch. <laughs> I'm not gonna wear it. Fuck you. I'm like cool as fuck. Pardon me. Look at this goddamn tree. They love those shits around here. Alright, pardon me, boys. Oh. Those paintings were telling her story. I, t I knew it. And mine as well. I'm that... Who am I? Which one am I? Dude, this is Spooksville, son. Three candles... And a note. Contract. Ooh, spooky. Spooky ookie booky. Uh, it is not there. It is in documents. Contract. Ias. August 10th, 1996. Through this private writing, I, the undersigned Giovanni Chasor, hence known as the landlord, lease the first floor of this property, furnished, undersigned by the parties. Note, the tenant and persons living with him, wife and two minors under 12 years of age, are forbidden from visiting the lower floors of the sawmill, not included in this contract of lease. It is also forbidden to go through or stop on the stairway which leads downstairs due to its poor condition. What? To go through or stop on the stairway which leads downstairs due to its poor condition. What's that have to do with this? I don't know what to do! <laughs> Fuck! Hold on a second. <laughs> God, that red's freaking me out. <laughs> it's definitely different than it was. Anyways, um, well, we're gonna go this way. I don't know what's on the right, but we're going this way. Oh, shit. Anybody else spooked? Jesus Christ. Oh, look at that. The fucking mask of the assassin. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck, he murdered the girl. A bloody teddy bear. What up, girl? That's a wooden shaped mannequin. The fucking sky. Assassin. Bro, you wouldn't be a good assassin if you didn't have a fucking dope ass weapon. There you go. Yo, Anna's trying to save me. I can't move up, by the way. I can't move. There's a maelstrom of thoughts entering my head. Ah! This place is telling me my own story. I was an assassin? I can move. I used to be an assassin. Back in the day, whatever. Uh. Oh, shit. Uh. There's been a call. Okay, for a moment the mirror showed my reflection. I already saw that. So this picture is just there. What the fuck? That's pretty cool. All these visions, symbols, weird figures, and everything else I've seen are perceived and perceived have served the purpose of making me remember my past. But what should I remember? Where am I? 
Is this place real or is it another, another delusion? Whatever the answers are, I know for certain that my journey is about to end and that you're a few yards away from me, Anna, my love. I went down into the floor hatch and found myself in a grotto. I should have fled the sawmill when I had the chance, but I feel as though I don't want to be anywhere else. I'm getting closer and closer. Ah, fuck. All right, now, oh, these are new. Hey. Oh, I stuffed her in the furnace. Ah, shit. Well, don't you understand? I can't let you go now. Yo, so I've reawakened my murderous instincts, and, uh, shit, look at me right now. I'm not, like, peeking the mic, but right, I would talk in, like, right here is where I usually talk, but I feel like it's hella loud if I talk right here. So I'm kind of trying to stay back from the mic a little bit, but it's hard because I'm just so used to being, like, right in it. Well, that's what happened there. Oh, shit, guys. I hope you're ready for some shit. That's me, the fucking rock. Oh, I'm not paying attention to the shit I'm supposed to pay attention to. Look at all these Venus statues. They're so, so voluptuous, right? That's, that's cool. All right. Well, it was nice doing this, guys. Looks like a candle. There were a lot of candles when I stole our statue from the church. As if they were singing Ring Around the Rosie around Anna. My wife became blind with jealousy. Blithering, idiotic woman. She could never be as charming as Anna was. Nobody else could ever be. Aw, oh, fuck. I'm the dude that fucking fought with his wife in the church. And look, see there's... Everybody. May I introduce you... To... Milady. Impure. And that woman dared to deface it with a hammer. Curse her. I can still feel my body shivering with anger. Oh shit. What? Fuck. Oh, the frames. So I killed my wife. What was that? Oh, two damn dead babies, son! Oh, no! Stuffed her in the oven. Holy Christ, that one's got a big head for a baby. On oh, the assassin mask. And whatever those two little chips of stuff are. I found you! My darlings. I had to do it. I should have. You were screaming. I couldn't bear it anymore. <laughs> but I'm here now and I'll be with you. My little wood babies, forever and ever. I want to look if the place is caving in behind me. Yeah. Hey, here and now, I meet my destiny. No one will ever separate us again. My family. You are as beautiful as I remember. So beautiful. All the guys at the church were like, dang, look at that. But I was like, get out of here, it's mine. I still love you. I love you. Uh, my lady. Party sounds. And <laughs> ever. Yeah. Now what? Oh! Bitch! That's how you end the game! It's got a Vincent Van Gogh. What the fuck is that? Is that like, is this inspired from him or something? Is that Van Gogh? I don't know. A game by Dream Painter Software. Straight to the goal! What the fuck? Help wanted not. Here's some more music that reminds me of I Said to Kill. 
Damn, I don't know if I'm gonna get fucked up with audio copyrights on this or not. Hopefully not, but uh, if it is an issue, then maybe I'll... Then maybe you'll be hearing a version of this that is uh, not this song. We'll see. Um, I don't know if I can monetize this, though, to be honest. I never looked at that until after I play a game. Um, yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah, we got the bonus thing, though, don't we? Hopefully, we'll get a bonus cutscene. But so, our boy... Um... Stole the fucking statue from the church and put it in this fucking grotto and didn't remember. And Anna was like, "Oh yeah," and he killed his wife and he killed his two little babies because they wouldn't shut the hell up. I think I think a feeling that most parents can relate to at one point or another. <laughs> um, but uh, so he killed his dang darn wife and uh. And there's two little babes. And, uh... Oh, shit, I missed a thing! Fuck off! There was a newspaper that I didn't read. Fuck off! I think I can still read it. And then I can just go back and do it again. I'll get to it. Oh, look at this. Casado Games. Cool. But, uh... I don't know. Usually during the credits of things, of games, like this when I complete a playthrough, is when I talk about the game. Like what I thought about it overall. So allow me to do that. Um. Well. I enjoyed this. And I'm still going to enjoy it because we're still getting the other ending. Honestly, I could probably get the other ending too. The, the dying one. <laughs> Why not? Um. But I will read one of them. I will read the one ending that I mentioned that I wanted to read earlier. Um, endings, endings. Um, okay, so this one I'm not gonna get, um, or I didn't get, but um, ending number seven on this walkthrough is called Inadequate. And this is what it says. I think this is interesting and cool. Um, in this ending, the protagonist arrives at Anna's room, but he has not seen enough to remember his past. Anna stops him from reaching her and tells him his mind is lost. To receive this ending, play through the game with minimal exploration. Only read the one necessary book, Alchemy and Th Thematurgy. Do not unlock any extra intuitions and do not combine any of the ones you do find. Note, you will know you're on the track, on track, to receive this ending if the game prompts you to confirm you want to proceed before entering Anna's room. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool though, you can like not, you can just not do the effort and then get to the very end and she'll be like, nah, no, you don't, you don't got it, you didn't work hard enough. Um, but then there's another ending that we're gonna try to get, and uh, yeah, we'll do the, uh, the ending where we die. <laughs> And, uh, besides that, there is the truth ending, which technically we just kind of got. Um, and then now we're gonna get the whole truth, hopefully. Instruments. Um, okay. Is this the end of the cutscene? I kinda, I gotta pee a lot. Oh, there's their logo. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't think I played this yet. I don't think I recorded me starting the game. Dream Painters. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. I'm surprised how many people fucking uh, made this game <laughs> or played this game on YouTube. <laughs> uh, Markiplier played it. PewDiePie played it. This game was a popular game, I guess. I just can't imagine how anybody could fucking come up with the ideas to fucking do this. I do like the puzzle with the mannequins. Um, I feel like I could have maybe figured that one out. That seems familiar with like other puzzles and games I've done. But some of this shit, like you gotta do this and that. Like, even something, uh, I feel like it was, oh. End of game recap. Ending, the whole truth. Huh. 
This habit maker's way two out of five. End of game recap. All intuitions, bitch. Notes found him one note short. You can get up to 23 notes, actually. Um, apparently, if you look at the other um, thingamajig, the other uh, cradle, both of them in the living room or whatever, um, you get a different note for each one, even though it's like the same thing. Uh, they count as like the same one. Books read. Oh, fuck. I'm not a nerd. Does the books read count as the... Uh, oh, shit. Maybe that's that newspaper thing. The note. Fuck. Events witness 6 out of 16. But I got the whole truth ending, son. That's what we're talking about. I don't get a bonus uh, cutscene? Hmm? Hmm? I guess it was the bonus cutscene right there. I got the whole truth ending, so it said I get a bonus cutscene, dog. I guess it was that fucking, like, the flashbacks and shit or something. I don't know. What is this preparing a level, though? Maybe this is it. <laughs> Just didn't prepare the main screen. Let's see. Oh, God, yeah! I'm scared. I'm scared I'm gonna get scared from this shit. And there's the mannequin there. It's dark. This is my bedroom. This is where the babies were. Oh, are we gonna go in the fucking uh, chest? The chained wardrobe? Yeah. Bust it open, y'all. What is it? I'm scared. Fuck this. I'm getting back. Fuck you. Okay. What is that? What is this? I'm scared. It's gonna be like the mask or something. I'm scared. It's the it's a painting of the lady. Okay, it's too close. Anna and Angra Minyu. I don't know what Angra Minyu is. It's gonna paint up and have like the scary face. Maybe it's gonna be my face, but I don't know my own face, so it doesn't really help me at all. <laughs> Is that it? I don't... What? <laughs> what was that, dog? I don't know what that was. <laughs> Maybe you guys, if you watched all these videos in a row and didn't take like a two-week break in between them like me, maybe you like, Whoa! That's crazy! <laughs> but I can't imagine what the fuck... What's Angra Minyu? I forget the name. It's that name from one of the books or something. I don't know. Uh, so now what we're going to do, though, we are going to get two additional endings. Um, we beat the game, Hall Truth ending. And uh, I could do a little bonus video separately. But honestly, I feel like uh, I don't want to fuck off and do a another video. And this one's already a giant video. It wouldn't hurt to make it more giant. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I feel like it's not going to take that long, hopefully. Um, but yeah. Um, I don't know how many endings I got. You can like leave during different points. Um, but let's see. Oh, the baby! Wait, where the fuck is it? Baby? 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 No! My baby! Alright, whatever. Fuck that baby. <laughs> Alright, what should I do first? Should I get expelled first? Um, this, this first ending is called Expelled. It is where you're expelled from the home. Watch in amazement as I complete this. Oh, Jesus Christ. What up, girl? Let's hang out. Let's party. Look at that blue glass. Come on, girl. Hook me up with some of that venom. Do I need to look at her? Hey, it's alright. <clears throat> any, any day now. <laughs> what up, girl? See you. I have a little mound right there. Fine. Oh my god damn fuck! It's got teeth! Jesus Christ! Fuck, bro, help me, help me, bro! Oh, I'm hurt! Ah! 
Why am I hurt now? Did you hurt me? How dare you? It's got fucking teeth, dude. Jesus Christ. Can I ask this thing a question? A hey, bitch. Ah, fuck off. Dude, it's got goddamn teeth. What the fuck? Is that because of the place being all fucked up? Like the blue light and shit now? Or is that something else? That's fucked. I never saw teeth on that fucking thing, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> that's pretty fucked. That's some fucking, uh, whatever that creepypasta is. That smiling, what's the face? Smi is it just like smiling Jeff? I want to call it smiling cat. Hey, where you go, girl? What you doing? Fuck off. She'll be back. They always come back, you know what I'm saying? She'll be back. I'm crawling back. Uh. Yo, girl. Where you at, girl? I'm confused as to why this fucking wardrobe's empty. Can I open this now? Not even with an axe. So I get the whole truth ending and I see that in there is a fucking big ass painting that I made of my girl. And me. I don't know who the fuck, ang whatever the fuck his name is. Yeah, we're just trying to die though right now. We're just, we're just trying to die. Fuck. Chelsea's gonna be home in like 10 minutes maybe. So I'm gonna get fucking scared if, I, if she just pops up. If she just <laughs> starts opening the fucking door, I'm gonna lose it, y'all. Um... But, uh, yeah. I guess I'll just fucking come back to you guys when I'm dead <laughs> or something. I don't know. Fuck. What's up, y'all? It's Max Stone up here. I wish it was brighter in this fucking game. Like, why do scary games have to be dark all the time? Like, I want to be able to see well. You can still make something scary. Like, seriously, I can be scared in the daytime. Now, that's not an issue for me. I can get scared anywhere. <laughs> I'm very scarable. I just want to be able to see. It's hard to see shit. You know what I mean? <sighs> Should I go downstairs where the where the real where the real shit goes down? Where the real spooks happen? I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to incur any actual scary events. I just kind of want to fucking <laughs> just get excommunicated, and that'd be the end of it. Excommunicated. What's it called? <laughs> Fuck. Excommunicated. Expelled. I just want to get expelled, teacher. Look at this teddy bear, dude. It's got blood on it, man. Shit. I killed my youths. I got two sweet babes and I, and I murdered them. Because they wouldn't shut the hell up. <laughs> Keep that in mind, future children. <laughs> is it? This is like a fucking bed. A bed couch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> a fucking, uh. Fuck me. A mattress, bruh. I'm out of here. My my mind is gone already. I beat this game. I'm done with it. <laughs> nah, we still got two more endings to get though. I want to see what the story is because the little description they have for the, for this ending sounds pretty cool and and interesting. I'd like to see it played out. And uh, additionally, the other one is like the other big ending, so I'd like to do that one as well. <clears throat> the Sabbath Maker's Way. Um, yeah. Let me pull up a document here. I keep talking even though I said I was going to cut it. Oh, that's cool. Dang, there's one ending. Or not one ending. There's one, like, supernatural occurrence or whatever that can happen uh, before I go downstairs Um, for the first time. And um, from up here, like the first one up here, um, I'll hear a clicking sound like someone's lighting a lighter and then the fucking room will light up and I'll fucking... Scream in pain. I'm fucking scared right now. I'm getting nervous. Fuck this shit. Okay, guys, apparently I can't... I can't get the trophy. I can't get the trophy for this, um... For this ending. There's actually a trophy called the Sabbath, Maker, Sabbath Maker's Way that involves those, like, five or six steps that we saw. The, the, the fraction that I had at the end there. Um... Because one of them, the second one is waiting until I get the fade to black upstairs thing before coming into this living quarters area. I need to stay in the attic until I get that. And then, um, that's part of the getting the trophy. So I didn't do that. Um, but that doesn't mean I can't, um, still do the ending, hopefully. 
So, uh, I'll still try to do that. Alright, but if, if, if it comes down to, like, I have to go back to before I left the attic, I'm not gonna fucking do that shit. That can fuck off. That can fuck off, bruh. Oh no, the babe! Don't worry, baby, I'll save you! I'll save you! I was, like, texting. Don't worry, baby, I was just texting. Baby, are you okay? Look, the door's there. Baby! Baby, are you- are you okay? Hey, what's going on, fam? What are we doing? Oh, shit, this is where I murdered him. I guess. Hey, look, it's my hook tool. It looks like a tool I found in the workshop. Oh, it's not mine. It's just another one. Another one. I don't know if I gotta- Oh, my god! Ew, look at this shit! Look at those fucking teeth! Is that because I already beat the game, now it's got the fucking goddamn teeth on it all the time? I'm gonna sit behind it. Fuck you. I mean, just hang out. I do have to pee, though. I do- I wanna go to the bathroom. Oh my god, Chelsea texted me again. I'm texting her back. I. Am. Recording. <laughs> Ugh. Man. So I'm just hanging out with my girl. Teeth girl. Let's go see what happened. Let's go. Hey, stop it! Oh god, there's blood everywhere! I'm scared. Oh shit, the door's closed! Oh my god! Fuck off, bro! <laughs> Yo, that scared me, bitch! God damn! <laughs> Ma shit! Dude, that fucking scared me. Fuck you! <laughs> got my ass. You did it. You got me. You got me. You Okay, you got me. I didn't get it the first time, I guess. How's my sanity looking? Look at this. I cannot tell what's going on with this fucking tree. What? Is there not like a tip on it now? I don't know. Dude, that, that didn't even give me a symbol that it hurt me. It was just an event that happened. So I don't know. I'm hanging out with my homegirl, though. She is fucking Heil Hitlering right now. Very offensive. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I want to go to the bathroom and just leave it here. Because, like, why not? But I don't want to miss something cool happening. I will. I'll be right back, gang. I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Alright? I'll be right back. Tell me if anything crazy happens. I'm back! Still nothing happened with my girl here. What the hell? Girl, what are you doing? Scare me or something. Make me sad. What do I gotta do here? Ah, uh, Look at this. It's been almost another hour and a half. Am I hearing whistling? Damn, look at those fucking teeth, dude. Fuck that. Just look at these bubes. I can't save it. <laughs> what up, girl? I'm just hanging out right here. You know, bumping and grinding. I'm at 86% health, dude. I lost, like, not even 10% health in that amount of time, dude. Kinda like, fuck that. 
Let's just go fucking beat this fucking game. This is stupid. <laughs> Fuck this shit. Alright, I'll just read what happens, guys. Um... <clears throat> so we're trying to wrap this shit up. This has been a long enough series and a long enough episode. So I'm just trying to wrap this up. Um... Let's see what we got. Let me pull up my thingamajig. Yeah, so here's these trophies. Um, okay, so what am I reading? I'm reading the ending. Um. Okay. Expelled. Ending number six in this walkthrough. Um, it says, In this ending... The protagonist is overwhelmed by fear and falls unconscious. He wakes up outside the sawmill, believing someone has brought him outside. He chooses to flee rather than to further investigate. That seems cool. <laughs> I don't know. But I did not see it. This ending can happen at any point in the game. To receive this ending, your sanity gauge must fully deplete. The screen will fade to black and the ending dialogue will play. Note, if your sanity level is low, you should save regularly. There are events that will cause your sanity to decrease without warning. Note, if you are aiming to receive this ending, spending a lot of time near the woman-shaped mannequin that makes its way around the sawmill is an effective way to lower your sanity gauge. Except it takes fucking 100,000 hours, so we're not doing that. So let's just go go through here. I'll do this, even though I think it's irrelevant at this point because I'm I didn't do the uh, um, thingamajig first. I like myself inside, like this ab maker did. Haha, <laughs> I'm so cool. Yeah. Oh fuck! Goddamn noise scared me. <laughs> fuck off. Um. Even though I don't think that's relevant anymore because I didn't wait until I saw the fade to black. Um. you I'll follow his lead um yeah I don't know um so I would have to go back to like when I first got in the attic which is that save that I didn't save over purposely but I really don't think I'm gonna do it I know I actually I'm confident I'm not going to um unless it's heavily requested I don't want to waste the time but um let's try to wrap this up real quick um, this one's pretty quick to get done at this point, excluding those steps that I missed. Um, but hopefully the ending still happens and is the same. So here's these guys. What's up, fam? Uh, yeah, I'm in here. Uh, boop. 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 I want to like, yeah, I want to see it pop off. I want to see our boy change, but it doesn't. <laughs> there it goes. What up? It was her. It was the mask calling me. Oh yeah, this is a mask of Anna. It's supposed to be her because certain segments of people in time thought she was like a fucking demon. And other people thought she was all beautiful. I have to wear this mask. That's not very dramatic or scary. Bam. Here it is, son. This isn't you, Anna. This is just a dumbass mask. Alright. I just put on the fucking mask. But you know what? Here's me saying if I was playing the game and the character says, I need to wear the mask. I would put the mask on. Like, this seems like the natural fucking ending. Oh, shit, and there's the door. The Sabbath Maker's Way. What to expect here? Bloody saw thing. Oh, shit. All the dude with his mask trapped on. Is that me? Did I turn into a mannequin? Is that what happened, bro? I don't like the, how close up they're getting, dude. This is fucked. I turned into a mannequin with the fucking thing on his face. Oh, and there's my phone and my knife and my canteen and my journal. 
It all fell? What, did I run up here? Whoa. I was four out of five. See, I did not wait to go upstairs to um, get that fucking thing. That event. Fuck me. I thought it counted when I got the floating mask thing back then, but it didn't. See, I could have got the full thing, and I would have got a trophy for it. But it's the same ending in a way, I think. That's that. And that is that. God damn, hopefully I'll cut that down by a lot. But it's still gonna be a big-ass video. Um. Oh, shit. Maybe it has another ending. I do still have all the, uh, insight. Maybe it'll still give me the other ending. Yeah, shit. Cool. There was a book under the table. Look at this. How goddamn dark does it have to be, though? Dude. Like, I can't even see the thing. Maybe my brightness setting is too low. But it looks, like, good. Like, it doesn't look washed out. Or at least for me. I don't know how YouTube's gonna fuck it up, but... Yeah, and it doesn't even show anything there. It should show my face, dog. Like, it should show, like, the mask or something. <laughs> The Mask of the Sabbat Maker. That's what I expected it to do. When it goes down here and it shows you the names, it should pan up. Who's Angramane you? I wonder if it's like one of the dudes from the story. Wait. What the fuck? The A looks different on Anna. So that's not even an A. That's like an H? H-N-G-R-A? What is that? Oh. But see right here, it should f pan up and it should show like the... the the mask face, but that, that's supposed to be Anna, right? So, I don't know. But it's the Sabbath Maker's mask or something, right? I don't know. Fuck off. But look at that. Did you see? Uh, I didn't get the whole truth ending, but it still gave me the bonus thing. So, I guess you just gotta have all the intuitions and you get that. Um, but shit, that was that. I will read what it said, because I think the way they, they describe it in the walkthrough gives it better context than just the cutscene did. I'll, no, it didn't. Yeah, with the with the dude's stuff of the ground, that was clearly what it was. But um, ending number eight, Sabbath Maker's Way. In this ending, in his hopes to find Anna, the protagonist follows the same path as the tragic Sabbath Maker, only to find a fate much worse than he ever imagined. To receive this ending, after you acquire the Mask of the Goddess in Anna's room, put it on yourself instead of the celebrant. Boom. And that's that, guys. Um, I think that's all of it. If if I didn't cover all the end all the endings, every other one I think was just leaving through a different door at a different time. Um, I did the one with the fire outside in the woods, and I did one. I think there was there was a version of that one that had like the whole fucking woods on fire. But even the dude who made the walkthrough, I think, didn't even know how to get that specifically. But they believed it was from seeing a certain event. Which I pretty much avoided the whole way through. But, um, yeah. Um, that's that, guys. Anna Extended Edition. <laughs> I'm sorry if you didn't like the long videos. If that is the case, please tell me in the comments here. Um, you know, yo, Mike. I, I watched this series, but it was kind of inconvenient how long the videos were. Um, I'd prefer it if you cut the length of the videos down and just had more videos. Because I understand that can be convenient for some people, but the reason that I'm doing longer videos now is that, for one, it's kind of easier on me. <laughs> you know, I only gotta do one description, thumbnail, um, tags and shit like that. I only got to do, I guess, five um, of those versus hit 20 if I did every, like, 15-minute episode or something like that. Or even longer. Or even more. Um, so it's kind of easier on me to do longer videos, but I personally also, like, I, I don't know. I like to make a big thing out of, like, let's sit and watch this big video. It's cool. Um, but um, I also asked my viewers in another series of mine, my Kingdom Hearts series, if you're not familiar with it. Um, it's really good, and you should check it out. It's getting, it's gotten, that's my, been my best series so far, um, to, uh, to the date of this recording, my Kingdom Hearts 
one PS4 playthrough. I'm doing all of them, but I've only gotten so far in the first one so far. Um, but it's, it's doing really well, and I got a lot of fan interaction there, a lot of viewer interaction. And, um, and so I asked those guys, I said, hey, um, what do you think about video length? Would you guys prefer to see, like, 30 minute or less, like, 20 minute videos? Or would you like to see, like, hour long videos? And, uh, and everybody was like, we don't care if it's long. Yeah, I like longer videos. So, I do longer videos. Um, but, as, you know, that's a clear indicator of, I do really take seriously what you guys have to say. So, if anybody who is watching this series thinks that these long videos were a little bit too much, and I know saying that at the end of the series is like the stupidest fucking thing, because you clearly watched it all. Um, but I just figured I'd ask. So you guys, would you guys have preferred this series been put in 20 minute segments, half hour segments, you know, 10 minute segments? I feel like a 10 minute segment though, like that's me reading one of the books, <laughs> practically. Finding a book and then reading it. Um, so, I guess I'm different than a lot of YouTubers, because I really like to talk like this, and I take my time, I take the time to smell the flowers, and appreciate the little things, I, in, in my other games, more so than this one, because I was scared for, the, for this fucking gameplay, um, but I really like to, uh, like, look at the little shit, like, look at this, uh, texture on this thing over here, and listen to these, the sound on this thing when you hit it, <laughs> I like to pay attention to that kind of shit, so... Um, I end up taking a lot longer than usual to, to play through games, which is <laughs> no surprise. I guess on this one I did the same thing. I also just didn't know what the fuck to do in the beginning. But, um... This game... How long to beat? Seriously said this game was like four and a half hours long. And I'm not even fucking with you guys. On YouTube, I've looked up... Uh, and I was looking up what the fuck to do in the attic or whatever earlier. Um, there were videos of dudes running, th there, there's a video of somebody going through this whole game and getting the whole truth ending in, like, 50 minutes. In, like, under that. Just, like, just going through it, like, fast. Like, they had purpose and they knew what they were doing. Uh, unlike me, but still. Jesus Christ, in under an hour, and it took me fucking, like, eight or nine. Dude, it's crazy. But, um... But with that being said, I hope you weren't just here to watch an Anna playthrough, because that's been done already. Um, I hope you were here to watch my playthrough of Anna, to see, to see how I would react, first of all, to just a scary goddamn game, which I don't play very often, uh, for obvious reasons. <laughs> and uh, I'm a little ninny. And um, additionally, just uh, my, my opinion on this game. Um, that being said, my opinion on this game, I don't know how clear I got into it, I forget during the credits, but I'll wrap this video up by saying, uh, this game was a good game, I thought the story was really cool, I like how it slowly unveiled itself, and I definitely, I think you could tell, I think I made it pretty clear, that, like, over the last couple sessions, I've been getting way, like, more and more interested in the story. And, and I think it's cool that the game kept me feeling uneasy. I think the sound was good. Like, as much as I hated the fucking gurgly goggles in the in the attic for that time that I was trying to get that event to trigger, um, it was definitely uneasy making. Like, playing this game, and like, even now, I'm gonna finish this, I'm gonna end this recording, I'm gonna export all these files, I'm gonna put on some, like, fucking fun cartoons or something to cheer myself up, to, to chill, and I'm still gonna be, like, looking around my apartment. Like, uh, uh, <laughs> nervous. And that's been the case since I started playing this game. So it's it does really well on that front, I think. It's a good game. It's a solid game. Um, like I said, I enjoyed the story a lot. But equally, there's... I've said it before, my biggest complaint about this game is... And besides, I guess a light complaint would be the textures and, and shit are a little cheap. Like, for example, these this grass going through the rock right here in their home screen. That's a little bit cheap. It it makes it feel like an indie game, which I guess it is. I've never heard of Dream Paint or whatever. I'm sorry. You already saw what it was. Um, uh, so I guess this is an indie game. And uh, so in that regard, I, I don't front. I, I, I'm usually pretty lenient about stuff like that if the experience was good. And I think it was. I think the experience was very good. I think it was cool. Um, I think if I was, like, a horror fan, I would have enjoyed more getting spooked by the events that happened, and there were a lot that I didn't get to, and I was kind of reading through them, and they seemed pretty cool, 
In fact, I'll read through them right now. I mean, <laughs> if yeah, what the fuck? You're already we watched all this way to the end. I'm pretty sure you're you're invested. And anything else you want to hear about this game would be cool. Um, so let's see. We got the. Uh, you guys can check out this walkthrough as well. You could have did that the whole time. <laughs> events. The following is a list of all 16 supernatural events. Number one, pillar of smoke in the main room before unlocking the stock room. A pillar of gray smoke will make its way towards you. When it reaches you, the protagonist will gasp for air. Two, oh yeah, well, before I continue with this, um, the, let me finish what I already, already started saying. Um, my big complaint about this game is that the puzzles, or like, like knowing what to do is so fucking incredibly impossible for me. I don't know, you guys watching, would you have thought of this shit when I just started doing stuff? I mean, like, sometimes it kind of makes sense, but it feels like it would have taken me fucking forever. Like, I really would have needed to feel forced to beat this to actually beat it without a walkthrough. Like, other in, in any situation where I had any sort of freedom to say, I don't fucking feel like doing this anymore, I would have did that a long time ago <laughs> if I was not using a walkthrough. The walkthrough really saved the series. I would not have fucking beat this game. Uh, were it not for the walkthrough, so, you know, shout out to Daniel again, but, um, anyways, yeah, that's my biggest complaint, the puzzles are so goddamn fucking specific and, and annoying and shit, um, and I, I don't know, somebody obviously had to figure it out, so, it works, but, for me, okay, that's the thing I didn't like about this game, I think the fucking things to do things were, is, it was too complex for me. Um, that being said, at the start of the series, I did figure out how to get inside, and I did figure out... That's not true, actually. I had to fucking look up the rope or whatever. <laughs> Fuck. But, like, I assumed I gotta heat up the ritual knife. I gotta heat up the knife to cut my hand to put it in the water. You know, like, I thought of that shit. But I'm just saying, throughout this whole game, it was a lot. And you know, some of it was a lot more complicated than other things. Um, anyways, number two, knocking on the door. Location, main room, time before unlocking the stock room. You will hear the sound of someone knocking on a door. Move towards the, the door to the stock room. After a short wait, you will see a cloud of dust burst from its edges. That's pretty cool. Three. Flaming torso. Main room before unlocking the stock room. A mannequin torso on a stand will appear next to the stove. When you approach it, chanting will be heard in the background and it will erupt into flames with the sounds of a woman screaming. I did that one. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I did that one. Four. Praying mannequins in the workshop before revealing the temple door. This one's fucking kind of cool. I read this one. Um, after you hear the rumbling sound... Face the woodworking table or the wall. Turn around and you will find two mannequins knelt over on the floor in prayer. Turn around again and one of them has disappeared. Keep waiting for a creepy surprise. Fuck that, dude. That would have got a hard jump out of me. Um, fade to black downstairs. It'll fade to black and it'll say, I feel strange, dot, dot, dot. And, uh, and then everything's changed. Six, pile of rocks, location, attic, near the symbol of the goddess. Before entering the living quarters is the time, but I've entered it already. Um, a pile of rocks identical to the ones, to the one outside the sawmill will, will appear on the ground. Four black hands will reach up from the floor around it. Yo, did I bury the kids? Fuck, dog, I just put that shit together. Fuck me, dude. <laughs> That's fucked up, I don't know. Um, fade to black upstairs, then whatever. I, s I can see myself. Um, um, angry mask in the attic after event number seven, which was the fade to black. Oh, I didn't do it yet. Um, you will hear what sounds like heavy breathing nearby. Turn around to see a glowing, floating mask staring at you. The protagonist gasps as it falls to the ground. Well, I did see the mask floating. So it doesn't have to be after the fade to black. Walk through. Come on, man. <laughs> um, uh, number nine, bedroom massacre, living quarters. Before returning to the first floor, you will hear an odd gurgling sound, and the first bedroom will be lit up. Yeah. 
Excuse me. Um, um, as you walk in, you will notice blood all over the floor and bed. The door will shut behind you, turn around to look at it, then turn around again for another surprise, which was the axe guy. The axe shaking, the hash slinging slasher. Uh, slinging that hash. Um, black shadows, number 10. Living quarters. Before returning to the first floor, you will hear the sound of flies buzzing. Return to the door to the attic and look left to a, a small alcove. See, I've been saying, I was thinking to myself like the whole time, like, what the fuck's up with this empty ass hallway? Um, you will see a black figure with glowing white eyes. You will become stuck and un unable to move. Turn around to find more shadows staring at you. Then turn around again and the first shadow has come closer. Damn. Oh, look at this. Note, if you immediately turn around again and start walking away from the original shadow, you can usually avoid taking any sanity damage. Any sanity damage, that's pretty cool. Um, 11, Room in Flames. This is the one I think that makes the uh, like forest light up for the one ending. Um, location, living quarters, time before returning to the first floor. Um, you will hear a clicking sound, like someone lighting a cigarette lighter, and the flames will begin to spread across living quarters. The protagonist will, will scream in pain, in pain, blah, blah, blah. I read that one, actually, <laughs> I think. Um, but yeah, that's pretty crazy. Um, 12, Tree of Arms. Um, location, main room, time, after returning from the attic and before accessing the temple. Um, you will hear a sound like wind blowing. Enter the stock room and you will find an odd mass of tree limbs and human limbs. Fuck. Uh, approach it and it will begin to draw nearer to you as well, then disappear in a flash of light. That's weird. 13, glowing pillars. In the main room, same time. In front of the front door, four glowing white pillars will appear with a large black mass in the center. If you approach it, the screen will become blurry and you will see visions of the seal from the locked stock room door and the black figure. Note, this event does a large amount of damage to your sanity level. Fuck. I'm surprised Chelsea's not home yet. She said, well, she said she'd be leaving where she's, she's, she went out with, uh, some people from her work. And she said she'd be leaving at 7, so maybe she'll be home soon. Probably in a minute now. She's probably gonna, I'm waiting to get scared like fuck when she comes to open the door, dude, because I have the deadbolt locked, so whenever she tries to come in here and open it, it, like, slams the fucking door on the fucking thing. And it always scares me, even when I'm not playing a fucking scary game. Um, ooh, look at this one. 14. Screaming stove. Fuck off. <laughs> Main room. Uh, the same time as the last one. You will hear a squealing sound and see arms reaching out from the door of the stove. As you approach it, flames will shoot out and the arms will stretch toward you. Damn. Note, this event does a large amount of damage to sanity level. Uh, next one. Message on the wall. Um, main room. Same time. On the wall, next to the entrance to the room with the puddle, a message from Anna will appear... Oh, Chelsea's still at the bar, by the way. Okay. Um, on the wall, next to the entrance to the room with the puddle, a message from Anna will appear that says, You should have left. I won't save you again. Damn. She saved me. She... Dude, that confirms, dog. I was the fucking dude in the picture that was healed? I don't know. Fuck off. My dude's got a cell phone. I think it's just a different time. I think she saved me in another circumstance. Maybe that's what it was. I stole the statue and all that shit, and I murdered my family, and then she, like, threw me out in the woods and wiped my mind. Maybe that's... But I have a cell phone, and I'm, like, a university professor, right? That's what my dude is. He's a university guy. How the fuck wouldn't he remember murdering his family, then? Fuck, dude. I don't know. This game. Now now I'm thinking about it. He's a university professor or something. Isn't that what it said? He's like, I can't wait to tell the people at the university about this place. Right? In the In his journal? I don't remember. Fuck. But if that is the case, it's weird. Uh, next up, Circle of Shadows. Um, main room, stock room. Um, time after returning to the attic before going to the temple. The screen will flash white, and then a circle of black figures will appear and make a ring around you as you walk through the stock room. Just as you're walking around? <laughs> what the fuck? Um, 17, Screaming Faces. Um in the workshop after returning from the attic and before the temple. You must be wearing the face of truth to see this event. 
Uh, blue faces with glowing eyes will bulge out of the walls of the workshop and scream at you. God damn. Get the fuck out of here. Um, and the last one, lynched mannequins, which we've already experienced in the temple before returning to the workshop. Eerie music will begin to play. The time frame before going to the workshop, I went back down and I got the event, so no. Nah. Um, eerie music will begin to play, and if you look up, you will see mannequins hanging from chains above you, and numerous eyes have emerged from the tree in the center of the temple. Chains will drop down around you and lift you up, and the protagonist will struggle to breathe. And that's it, gang. Um, there's a bunch of trophies listed here, too, if you have this game, if you're interested in it. Um, you know, yeah, sure. I mean, I would, uh, get it. Oh, what the fuck? This says it's by the arch villain on on uh, Game Facts, uh, but but on the actual text file it says uh, by Daniel Kingsland, and his PlayStation ID is D Kingsland nine six seven, which is not the arch villain. Maybe that's just his name on Game Facts. Um, but god dang, that's it, yo. That's super it. It's been an, almost another two hours. I've been recording this session. It's been an hour and like forty five minutes on this uh, recording bit right here that I'm doing since I took my break. Since I cut it uh, when I was waiting in the attic. The fuck? I just heard a dumbass noise. I don't know what that was. Um, but, uh, yeah. Thanks so much for watching this, guys. I really appreciate you hanging out for this long of a goddamn final episode. <laughs> I know it's been in unrecoverably long. I cannot cut enough out to make this a reasonably length episode. Um, so I appreciate you hanging out for the extra super long bonus finale thing. And, uh, and I hope you appreciated, uh, I hope you enjoyed this story as much as I did. That was pretty cool. And I definitely, I hope you liked seeing me play a scary game. If you guys want me to play more scary games, you know, let me know if you enjoyed me being a little bitch. But I feel like I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> I, I mean, I did enjoy it. Um, but I feel like I'm not much for scary games. What the fuck is this? I'm hearing like a fucking like a kind of like a thump noise, but like it's a hollow thump. I feel like it's somebody like in my downstairs apartment hitting some shit. I don't know. Um, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please leave a like if you enjoyed. Um, if you forgot on the other ones, <laughs> it'd be dope if you left likes so on those too. I don't know. Um, but subscribe if you haven't. I mean, dude, it, dude or dudette, of course. If you have sat through. This entire fucking dumbass playthrough, and you're at the very end after this long of, of an episode, or whatever, of a part, uh, you should subscribe, because you are obviously pretty down with the, with the MSW, man. Um, but anyways, I want to wrap this up. This is, this is it. This has been Anna Extended Edition on the PlayStation 3. Don't get it twisted. Everybody and their mother is on YouTube doing the PC version, which has a cool little interface or whatever, but... Oh yeah, I did the fucking fade mission, or the fade thing, in the upstairs, and it still, uh... Fucking... Didn't have, like, spikes and shit coming out of the ground. So I don't know what the hell that was about. <laughs> I forgot to think about that at that point. But anyways, um, yeah, PlayStation 3 shit right here. The first on YouTube, maybe. Um, I'll be sure to include that in the fucking uh, titles and tags and shit, too, so hopefully people like me who are trying to look specifically for PlayStation 3 can actually find it now. Um, but, uh, yeah. Thanks again for watching, guys. Be sure to stay tuned to the channel for whatever game I play next. And, uh... Dude, again, so I just thumped some shit. And it was straight up in a different apartment. And it was like a thump fucking thing. Like somebody dropped like a uh, like a barbell. <laughs> That's what it sounded like. Like a kind of like a metallic thump, but like muffled by a floor and ceiling <laughs> and their ceiling. Um. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Again, um, check out whatever the hell else I'm doing on my channel. And I appreciate your watch. And uh, and I'll see you in whatever next video I make. Bye.